Because if you think of the chaos and complexity that the world is in right now, the entire focus was on simple things. So when there's a lot of stuff going on around you, when there's chaotic things happening left and right, focusing on the simple things that you can focus on, controlling the simple things that you can control. And whether that was for us moving our body for an hour, stretching for 20 minutes and then drinking a glass of water, or whether it's for you right now, focusing on, you know, making 25, 50, 75 dials today to reach out to prospects, prospective clients, um, whatever they may be, it's focusing on those things that you can control. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! This is episode 176 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And uh, on this, this episode, I want to do two things. And the title of this episode is going to be Three Simple Things. And uh, the two things that I want to do real quickly on this episode is number one, recap the Unbreakable 48 event that we just finished this past weekend, and then talk about the book, Three Simple Things, that is now officially available to run out and get as many copies as humanly possible. So we're going to go through those two things. The first is the Unbreakable 48. So we started this event Friday evening, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we had about 50 people from across the U.S. Uh, experiencing and participating in this virtually with us. And just to give you a, a brief breakdown of how the event transpired. So for one hour, every four hours, we did some physical activity. So sometimes that was walking, hiking through the woods. I ran. Um, we did some workouts, but one hour of physical activity, just moving your body every four hours. And uh, it was extremely difficult. I'm not going to lie to you. I was extremely, extremely sleep deprived. I did not get a good night's sleep a couple nights before. And uh, there's just no way to catch up on sleep one hour at a time, as I learned very quickly. Because uh, by, by the time we did the uh, post workout zoom call where we would jump back on and get everybody together before and after. But by the time we would get done with the, the one after and, and then get ready for the next, uh, evolution, we'd really have about two hours maybe of free time slash time to rest and recuperate for the next round of physical activity. And that sounds cool, uh, when it's in the middle of the day, but not so much cool when it's, you know, four o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, all that good stuff. So it was difficult. And, you know, I have the absolute utmost respect for those that participated with us online, uh, virtually, because, you know, we were all at Tom Shea's house. Um, we had the huge uh, studio set up in his basement with multiple monitors and cameras and lights. And we had a lot of people and we were all sleeping in one house together. And, you know, that was difficult enough. I can't even imagine having done it from my home, jumping on Zoom before and after each time and engaging that way. But man, people did it flawlessly. Um, we had very few miss any of the uh, evolutions of the physical hour of physical activity and the pre and post uh, Zoom calls. Very few that missed any of them, uh, which was actually really awesome to see. Uh, the other thing that was awesome to see is the breakthroughs that people had as they went throughout this process over the course of two days. There were a lot of people, uh, specifically virtually, that, that really, <clears throat> that really broke down a lot of, uh, had a lot of breakthroughs, um, in their life. And really what I boil that all down to is if you think of the chaos and complexity that the world is in right now, the entire focus was on simple things. So when there's a lot of stuff going on around you, when there's chaotic things happening left and right, focusing on the simple things that you can focus on, controlling the simple things that you can control. And whether that was for us moving our body for an hour, stretching for 20 minutes and then drinking a glass of water, 
or whether it's for you right now, focusing on, you know, making 25, 50, 75 dials today to reach out to prospects, prospective clients, um, whatever they may be, it's focusing on those things that you can control. And through that process of cutting out all the noise and all the chaos around us and just focusing on these simple things that we know that we can do, uh, a lot of people had some breakthroughs through that process, which was amazing to see. Um, I think the event as a whole um, went extremely well. We had zero glitches uh, with any of the technology throughout the whole time. And, and kudos to our media team for not only capturing content throughout, but then editing that content real quick so that we could put it out uh, on the next uh, live Zoom so that people could see what we were doing here in Greenville, South Carolina throughout each physical evolution. Uh, just It just ran extremely smoothly. Uh, I was extremely tired. I was extremely exhausted at the end. Uh, I think I slept for over 12 straight hours when I got home uh, on Sunday, but we, we wrapped it up at 5 p.m. on Sunday. And this is something that I think we're going to do uh, many times in the future, because I think the virtual aspect of having people from all over the country be able to experience that breakthrough uh, in their own homes and, you know, walking around doing physical activities in their own backyards or neighborhoods was just incredible to see uh, and incredible to help facilitate. So super, super grateful for everyone that participated in that. Be on the lookout for the next Unbreakable 48 when we announce uh, the dates to that. But I want to dive into really the the main message on this podcast, which is whether it was what we learned through the Unbreakable 48 together, or whether it's the things that I've been learning coaching uh, with Tom Shea uh, over the last year. Uh, this book, Three Simple Things, which just came out, it's Three Simple Things Leading During Chaos. Uh, this book really is exactly what the world needs right now to really get out of our own ways at the end of the day. Uh, it's so easy when chaos ensues to become paralyzed by that chaos, become paralyzed by the isolation that's caused by the chaos. But if we can simply just focus on the things that we can control, those simple things that we know how to do, that we know will make us better. Um, specifically in the five pyramids of human performance, so you got physical, intellectual, wealth, relationship, and spiritual, to be able to focus on the simple things that aren't controlled by all the chaos going on in the world, that aren't controlled by external circumstances that are completely in our control. Did I work out for an hour today or did I not? Did I talk to my significant other today and find out what they're committed to today? Let them hear what I'm committed to and have some level of intimacy. Did I learn something new? Did I learn a new way of doing something that I already know how to do? And did I have time for strategic thought throughout my day today? And then did I do the three simple things that I need to build wealth? Um, the ability for us to completely um, separate the controllable from the from the uncontrollable is ultimately the key to success in life, but specifically the key to success right now. Because uh, I don't know that the world's ever been more chaotic. I don't know that the world's ever been uh, in a state where it seems to just throw curveballs at us left and right. And for us to be able to embody the things of this book, to be able to focus on those simple things, to take the complex and boil it down to the simple things that we can do every day. I don't know that there's ever been a time where this message is needed more. Something that we've done for you guys, the viewers, the audience of the Sales Wolves podcast, is we put together a site, which is threesimplethings.com where you can go to that website and we've put together some pretty interesting bonus buy features. So it's great if you want to buy one of these for yourself to learn and to be able to adopt these, uh, this simple process of, of really focusing on the five pyramids of human performance. But the reality is there's probably some people in your life that need to experience the same thing too. Uh, if you thought for five seconds of who in my life could benefit from a book like this, you can probably think of five to 10 people right off the top of your head. And so because of that, and because of our desire to really get this book into the hands of a million people over this next 12 months, 
um, we've put together some bonus incentives so that if you do buy five books, if you do buy 10, if you do buy 25 books, that there's going to be some uh, bonuses in there to help you further unpack this information and further learn and apply that information uh, to your life. So super excited about that. If you go to three simple things.com, it's going to list out all of those different options that you have with bulk purchases. Uh, but at the very least, I would love for you guys just to go and buy one copy of three simple things leading during chaos, because it has been a tremendous benefit to me, the information that I've absorbed and been able to apply through this book. And I know it'll be the same for you. Uh, I would never get on here and recommend something that I didn't first get benefit from and get value from myself. And this book is simply that it is something that you will get a tremendous amount of value from. It's also very entertaining, but every single chapter, you're going to learn things that you can apply to your life immediately. So definitely go to three simple things.com and check out the bonus buys there. Uh, but at the very least, just get yourself one copy and uh, make sure that you commit to reading that over the next month uh, would mean the absolute world to me. And uh, with that, guys, this is episode 176, recapping the Unbreakable 48 and talking about the official launch of three simple things leading during chaos. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh!